Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to one of the greatest shows on earth that's out there. I am Shadow Ace, joined by my co-host here, the captain that's making it happen with me tonight, Captain Zig. How are you doing today, sir? Hello, I'm doing really, really fine. Uh, my my counting skills don't fail me. I think that this is the sixth time that I commented in English. And uh, I've been keeping track because I don't know. I like I like counting, you know, so I'm doing very, very fine. And I hope that you are having also a wonderful time, my friend. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm I'm excited to commentate some Street Fighter Five action with you, uh, Captain Zig. Uh, yes, again, this is Shadow Ace with Captain Zig tonight on the mic, holding it down for you guys. We hope you guys have had a wonderful week and we are glad you have decided to join us for tonight's event. Tonight, of course, is going to be a very interesting uh, event because we're just coming in. We're still people are still getting used to that new patch, the new mm -hmm. patch that just came out uh, about about last week or so. And you know, now the characters, you know, there's been a definite a definite change in momentum as far as the lower tiers or mid tiers. Uh, they're starting to slowly rise up. Um, a lot of adjustments have been made. Some some interesting adjustments have been made to characters who just haven't had that time in the spotlight right now. But here here we got uh, Trinix going up against 40 Flash Kick. Let's see how this plays out. Yeah, and speaking of the patch, like can one of the was one of the characters that got some of those really nice bumps, but 40 Flash Kick with the crush counter to put Trinix on the corner, but nice counter hit from Trinix to gain some some corner some some space on the screen. Both players just filling each other out right now. That's always the, the first round, the first information that you give your opponent here. Stagger pressure. Oh, oh my gosh. God, the target combo in neutral just like that. Oof, Man, Krennix is probably... filling the Ken buffs right oh, now. He, oh, he should have gosh. spent far. Oh, oh. Oh, oh he, he left some food on the plate. Oh, Zig, not like this. Oh, my God, the low four. Okay. Yeah, like, that, that I could have was... been so dangerous. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, like, Krennic should have spent the butt to kill, but nope, he didn't need it to spend that cash to, to finish his job, a nice interruption from that stomp, from Cannibal Flash, 40 Flash Kick, oh, okay, that's it. Slowly push to the corner again, another target combo, Krennic's looking really confident right now on the neutral, putting Flash Kick against the corner, oh, oh. no, no anti-air, hmm. maybe that was a misinput, oh, oh, oh my gosh, Flash, Kick. Oh, what a way to punish the stump with the bishop. Activation, activation. for flash kick. No, but the drop! The drop not like this! Oh, that should have been such a game changer. But Chris is going to take full advantage. He's going to close it out. He does with the pot and the jabs. Ow. And for you, for you, flash kick had a lot of time to close the, that last round. But we saw the drops. We saw a lot of mistakes from... 40 flash kick that should have given him the win, but Krennix taking this first game against flash kick. Looking very confident into the neutral, regardless of the drops. He says that you know what, I'm 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 in there. You, you want to give me the W? I, I appreciate that, kind sir. But let's see if uh, 40 flash kick can uh, clean it up a little bit. Here we go, second game. Oh, and Krennix pressing a lot of buttons, but he doesn't mind taking some damage to put on the pain. On the side of flash kick. It's fortunate that's the second time he was unable Ooh. to get that anti-air. Right now, oh. flash kick's looking really good. It's gonna build a little bit of meter here on that. Closes it out. Very good oh. stuff from flash kick. Almost starting, the, basically starting the second round off with literally three bars. So this could be in his wheelhouse. Let's find out. Yeah, but we've seen that Greenix has been pressing a lot of buttons when it's time for for the clap flash kick to to do his offense, and he took a lot of damage. Because of those counter hits. The punish. And now for the flash kick with all the candy in the candy store. <laughs> like a kid indeed. Has a, has enough, what, five ten cents or or a dollar just has enough to get a whole bunch of candy. Oh, let's find out. Oh. Just a raw target combo like that. Greenix. Right now. Uh oh. Man he's a man on a mission. Alright, oh, let's see. What? Just the low four the EX Tatsu just like that? And it was dangerous, been, sir. Yeah, he's been really spot on with those low forwards into the EX statue. Right 
now Phoenix is sitting on set point here. Let's see if Flash Kick can get the momentum right now, but this corner control is looking crucial. Oh, well. Trying to go for a little cheeky uh, reset there. Mm -hmm. Oh, the walk under! Good stuff from Flash Kick. He has a lot of meat in this thing. The throw. Nice says, I don't want to deal with it. I'm out of here. But now Phoenix also have, has a lot of critical, a, a lot of resources on his side. Oh, no, again, that's the that's the third time that anti he wasn't able to get it. No. Oh. oh man. All right. Now we're seeing it. Now we're seeing Flash Kick starting to increase the difficulty a little bit, catching on maybe to a lot of uh, Phoenix's bad habits here. And he mm -hmm. seems to have been struggling with that anti air Z. Yeah, I think that maybe Krenix doesn't want to go for the DP anti-air because he's afraid of the way that 40 Flash Kick can mix his air approaches. So he's just trying to go for that crouching heavy, but it hasn't really been hitting. Right here it is, game three. Between both players, nice. There it is. Anti-air on the fierce. Your combo's oh. nice. Go overhead and, the and stun. It's not gonna kill, but it's gonna put 40 flash kick in a pretty tough spot. Interesting. Okay. Form of mix there. Cool. Nice V shifts out. Uh oh. Box under. Hmm, not spending any any bar there. What? He challenged it with the target cup just like that? Yo, Kramix, please. Mess Yo, I oh. want this round. I want this. <sighs> so risky right now oh no response yeah oh, man. and i Flash think that i think the clinics tried to answer here because we saw that that cross up hit on counter i think oh nice anti -air. speaking of anti -airs. jump in they're just going all the all, doing all the mallets here for flash kick let's see he has good good uh starting off a good meter again mm. unfortunately not able to get that X in the corner, stun is mounting. It's a bad position right now for Kreenix, and he's Ooh. trying to fight a way out. But you know what? He says that I'm going to the store, I'm about to get something. What you guys want? Oh, oh. oh he does oh. get the perfect the golden rims <laughs> to his name. Oh, wow, it's been a while since I've seen that on the Cosmos Street. Oh, my goodness! Very good, stuff. very good, very good adaptation for sure from Flash Kick. For a second, I thought, like, man, what is Flash Kick doing? Did he just... Well, what is he trying to do? But then the EX dump, I can assure you that I didn't block that. I didn't saw that coming. And Flash Kick taking the first perfect of the day. Very, very good stuff. Very good awareness, too. He hadn't done it all set. Perfect answer for the round closer. Just pure aggression coming out from 40 Flash Kick, for sure. And... Very good adjustments too. You know how mm -hmm. Krenix started the round off really good, really confident in the neutral, just just charging at this man like a, a wild bull. But uh, Flash Kick said that I got the red cape, I got the red uh, cloth here, and he's gonna run right into these uh, combos here. But very good stuff uh, from for 40 Flash Kick for moving on to the bracket. Uh, but again, this bracket is full filled with a lot of strong players. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is definitely not going to be an easy road uh, for these far heroes here uh, as they take this route to the the big the top eight the the big table is what I like to call it for the Casa Fridays because if you are able to make it that far into the bracket you you've, you've done something amazing you've done something amazing because there are very there are a lot of talented players that enter these tournaments there are a lot of variety of different skill levels so you get a good mix you get a very very good mix. And towards the end of it, you know, that top eight, you solidify your seat there. You survive the chaos. You survive the madness of what your opponents were throwing at you, whether it's been clutch rounds or just complete domination. You secured your spot for a reason. So anybody in the top eight most definitely earned it uh, with the amount of uh, good players in this bracket. But uh, while we're getting set up for the next match, looks like we're going to have uh, Just a Kid PC going up against Sheldon Twitching. Possibly Seth versus Akuma, or um, looks like Rashid coming out uh, here from Just the Kids profile picture. But we'll find out as soon as the match starts. But I want to remind the folks at home that we do have a Matcharino available for tonight's event. 
using that exclamation mark Macharino into the chat will redirect our patrons to uh, the Macharino page where they can add a free 50 cents using that promo code CASA SFB 56 add in that 50 cents into the pot no cost to you there's also the side quests too that are available uh, here so if you'd like to go ahead and check that out if you'd like to donate anything outside of that, any and all donations are appreciated. And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to CASA, and I hope you guys enjoy the show. Yeah, 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 that's right. And speaking of enjoying the show, it looks like we are ready to get our second match of the day started. But who is it going to be? And looks like we are going to have... We are going to have Rashid, Rashid versus Akuma. That's okay. the Rashid? Okay. See what okay. Justin Rashid looking like. Okay, interesting. We're gonna have the glass cannon battle right here. All right. All right. He definitely very high mobility character. The mix up essential is insane for this. Different very play styles on him as well. Akuma got some got some interesting adjustments to uh, his gameplay, but I think it's more line of the B trigger two, uh, B skill two. Uh, they 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 powered that up a little bit so. Mm -hmm. It's kind of still on the table on like what Akuma players really want to do with it. So hopefully down the line we'll see some more experimentation. But let's find out what happens on this match. Oh, and now Sheldon twitching. He's got the corner. Not with me, a lot of buttons, but gets hit on the face. And now those counter hits. Oh, the heavy kick on the side of just the kid. Back throw. Straight hits. Oh, oh. three medium kicks in a row. That's where I went, okay. one way of interrupting pressure. Uh oh. Oh, look at the damage, man. This is what Akuma is all about, but the B break. One hit away from dead. Oh, he's trying to get oh. away, but. I lied. He wasn't one hit away from dead. He survived. Oh, dead. the toe taps. Yeah. Very good. Spot. The toe taps. Yeah. Didn't really need to commit to anything wild. He had, had a life lead. Out of resources on his end, allows him to go into the next round fully stocked. Let's see what Justin Kid does with it. Back off, he gets demon flip. Oh. Here, yeah. sequence there. Ooh. Nice, good fears. Put him into the wall. Look at that carry. Oh, really? Not Ooh, okay. The low fears as an anti air. Ah, uh, which is the kid on the corner. Oh, one way to whip punish. For the forward throw, crush counter. Nice. About the He's starting this rhythm there, but the EX. Got it there. Activation. Activation coming out from just a kid. See what he does with it. Has two more left in his tank. EX has one more. Thanks, nice. Perry there. Oh, the Ooh. big jump in that step for sure. Ah, oh, Justin Kid with the patience and awareness. Spacing it, knowing Zelda Twitch may have tried to go for like a fireball to try to slowly establish some pressure here. Able to get the big jump in, closing it out. Just a kid, 1 0. Oof, and I think that Sheldon really wasn't throwing fireballs. And when he decided to throw a fireball, it was like at the worst possible moment because mm -hmm. just a kid just thought, you know what, I'm gonna jump. And well, that was it. Oh, the crash counter with the sweep. Oh, trying to go for a jump in, doesn't get it. And now but the fireball pressure. pushing him to the corner. Good tech. Uh oh. Oh no, counter hits! A lot of damage. This is adding up. Like though. Let me flip for the EX. Oh, try to wake up with a heavy kick. Out of there. Got stuffed out. Trying to go for the demon flip grab. But now Sheldon in the corner. Just the kid goes for the forward throw. Spending some bar. Nice tech. Activation. Uh oh. Been late on the anti air. It's the activation from just a Rashid, just a kid. Nice. The fireball hit. He's going to convert off of this for sure. Very good awareness from Sheldon. Twitching. Would have convert off of that. The second fireball. Oh, my goodness. Trigger, please. Arts at Hall. The confidence right now from Sheldon. Starting to build. Has to rally into this. Oh. He wants to stay into this. <gasps> hmm. Oh, just throw from Sheldon. EX. Oh, the anti-air. Working under and using that crouch fears. 
Just a kill. For the help of his life. Oh, trying to go for the neutral jump. Forward throw for just a kill. The pressure. Now oh, Sheldon in the corner. No. Nice Santa here. Testing on buttons here. Sheldon has a lot of meter for activate. Just the raw EX. What? What is happening? Oh. It stays in front, but no. <clears throat> he didn't finish. He didn't finish. Oh yeah. my gosh, the worst time to throw that EX out there. Mm -hmm. Not even sure if that was Sheldon intended for that, but it's a kid said, yo, we'll gladly take that. Right now sitting on set point. It's a beautiful start here from Sheldon. Push him back. No, get back into the corner. I'm not finished. See where you think you're going at. You belong in that corner, but now the activation again no, you get in that corner. Yeah, you get in that corner. Oh, <laughs> Just like that, we are both out of that corner, but now Sheldon is itching closer and closer towards the other what? corner. Oh, fierce! Such a good, but I remember it was even better back in the day. Oh, the cross up, good block! Dangerous right here. Two bars, just a kid, establishes pressure. Oh. Bars on the side of Sheldon, but the activation. We all know the damage that Akuma can do once he's activated. Out of it forces just a kid to, to spin the bar. Oh my gosh, yo, the anti air. There we go. Okay, what's the wake up EX? Okay, all right, besides oh. the mission. Has to be careful on these fireballs. You saw Justin, uh, just a kid snipe it out. The... Jimmy, low four, very good start stuff from Sheldon. Mm -hmm. Yo, I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna throw a fireball this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He's like, yo, I, I saw what happened, I saw you sniff it out. Oh Man, but that was that was super close for just the kid. Mm -hmm. Game three. Three. That's what I. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I like to see. The the close, closeness. The neck and neck. Let's go. Uh oh, this is gonna be huge damage. Oh, never mind. I thought that. I woke up and pressed the button. Got the counter hit. Corner. Nice jabs Ooh. again. Conversion stun is out there. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, fireball. We got a regular jump in! And here's the huge damage. Especially if you're a Kuma. No activation for Sheldon. Oh, but just a kid with the cross counter! Oh, just like that. And the meaty gale too. Oh, that was so smart. For Oh, he he, walk, he tried to probably walk, walk under it. Okay. Okay, this is good from Sheldon. That slows down. Oh. Huh? I think that maybe... He was... was trying to go for the EXTP to use the invulnerability uh, to get through the fireball, maybe? I don't know. I... Okay, well... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm just, thank you. I'm, I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing, because that was kind of weird. That was odd, alright. He's oh, not out of shit. just yet. Look at the sequence. The damage. Oh. He drops out of there. He says, I'm out. I do not want to deal with this corner. Akuma is definitely a scary character. Rashid's a scary character in the corner. Oh my gosh, the EXDP. It's just a kick on the EXDP and in return. Try to press something. Oh, again. Scoops. Down. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. That was very fortunate. Because you know what? Just a kick could have probably just raw supered after the jump. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. And. I've seen a lot of people get hit by that wall jump from Rashid. I know that I would have gotten hit by that wall jump on the crash counter for just a kid. Putting Sheldon in the corner. Really nice pressure. Oh, no anti is. Just Tatsu's out of there. Oh. Defense. Nice good block by just a kid. But does get hit below. Raw activation. Be a little bit panicking coming out from just a kid. Alright, here we go. The knockdown. Alright, gets the grab. This is good for just to kill. Let's see. Does he capitalize? Yes. Good corner pressure. Oh gosh, that was so scary. Oh my god, had that I hit, he could have converted it super for sure. The activation for Shadow Tristan, the demon. Oh, but he sniffed it out. He sniffed it out. Oh my god, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Wait it's a Kuma. Yeah, it's it's a Kuma just the kid. Please. Oh Man. my goodness. Just a kid with the awareness. He knew that that team was coming and the neutral jump, man. Oof. Uh, he, you know what? He said, you know what? It's fourth down. Fourth down. I just need one. I need one big play. 
I need one big play. Sheldon Twitch said, I need one big play. He tried it. He tried the classic. You know what? Just the kid said, I'm already two moves ahead of you. I mean, they immediately knew that the jump back and got a beautiful punish into critical art. Very good stuff. Very good games for both players. 2 1. Just the kid's going to move on. And what a set, man. What a set. And then that was Ooh. only our second set. And that was yep. only our second set. Are you, got, are you not entertained? Yeah, the, are you that not entertained? Good, good reaction. Oof. What a, way to, what a way to end the, the second set of the night. Look, 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 we're just getting strapped in. We're, that was only the second set. We're just getting strapped in right now. We're, we're getting adjustments. You know, we got, we, got our, we got our people at home. They got their snacks, their beverages, they, whatever it takes for them to get comfortable and enjoy this this high quality Casa SF5 action here. And we thank you guys so much who are just, you know, you know folks are just coming in. Folks are just coming in, and that's okay. You know, that's okay. Welcome. You know, come in, have a seat. Um, while we get the next match shut up, have to mind the good folks that we do have a match arena available for tonight's event. So if mm -hmm. you like the match the previous that you guys just showed, uh, stay tuned because we got more coming up. We got more uh, clinchers, seat clinchers. You know, we got more seat clinchers coming up for sure. In that exclamation mark match arena, uh, into the chat, we'll direct you guys to that page where you can use that promo code the casa sfv 56 uh will add in a free 50 cents into the pot uh, and if you'd like to donate anything outside of that any and all donations are appreciated again this is for our players who are putting in this work because again this bracket is not easy the bracket is not this is not an easy bracket these players are that are in that entered everybody that entered here knows what they're doing they know what they're doing they know how to play the game they know how to set up situations and put opponents in situations um and everybody in here knows what time it is they, they they've been in casa tournaments plenty of times um whether it's been a while or they've at least entered once I, that's what i believe just by looking at the bracket and the names i'm like okay everybody has at least entered once into the castle so they know the level of competition they're dealing with the moment they enter this bracket the moment they sign up with their name they are committed to the cause and i definitely do appreciate those players oh so, uh yo captain captain zig i gotta ask you how, how are you feel about these matches so far Oof, man what can i say like it's it's just been a lot of a lot of, of fun as a commentator i don't know if, yeah, if as a player that was uh, that was fun, especially for for Sheldon. But as a commentator, both of the matches that we've had today, both both of the sets have been just so fun to watch, so fun to commentate. Because like you have been saying, man, it's just super high level Street Fighter Five. Every single player knows what they are going to be facing off against. They're going to be facing against some of the best players in the world. And now. Looks like we are ready to keep this show going, my man. We are going to have the third set of the night. Okay. All right. So it looks like, yes, indeed. Couldn't have said it any better uh, myself, my friend. Uh, you know, so now um, I thought we were going to get the sim mirror, but uh, we won't, we're not we're not worthy enough to get the sim mirror. Grace with the sim mirror just yet. But instead, it looks like we're going to get Lud thinks going up against Mr. Mistopheles, I believe. If that's what this card says and that's what is confirmed, these guys are tuned in and turned. So here we go. So, yes, it is. It'll be Mr. 